In Microsoft Access, there are good ways of designing a form and bad ways of designing a form. Poor form design can lead to fatigue and eye strain, amongst other things. So it's important that we get it right. Now, if we look at an, a bad example of a form design, you can see that um, this is pretty horrendous. Uh, what can we see that's wrong with it? Well, for a start, we can see that this label here, customers, it's far too big, it's positioned incorrectly, um, and the font is not really suitable at all. We've also got a very bad background color here, sort of greeny brown type thing, which is not very conducive for the eyes. And the labels, you can hardly see the labels, first name one, last name address one, they don't stand out at all. The background of the text boxes is not very good. Um, we've also got a button here. We don't know what it does. It's got a magnifying glass on it. Chances are it's a find button. Um, for a start, that's uh, positioned incorrectly. We could probably use a description to say what it does. Um, also, on the right-hand side here, we've got two huge gigantic buttons here, um, add new and exit, very bold sort of font shouting out at us, it's not good at all. So basically um, we could design this form in a much better way. So if we look at a, a, another example, that's another bad one, And here we see a better example of that form. As you can see, customers has a nice clear heading there. We've put a box around all our related fields, first name, last name, etc. And you can actually see the font this time because the background, um, it's more of a sort of greyish background. A lot of people don't like this type of background. They find it quite plain, but I think it stands out quite nicely here. We've also got three buttons here. Add new, search, exit. We can see quite clearly what each one does. Remember we had a magnifying glass stuck down here somewhere um, in the badly designed form. Now we've replaced that with a search button here, which looks quite nice. And generally everything's positioned um, very nicely in this form. And if we look at the original bad design, we can see that uh, there's quite a bit of, bit of difference here in the two forms. Also, the font here at the top, it's, uh, it's, it's not in italics, and uh, it's, it's just sort of sits there nicely for us. Okay, so that's just a couple of examples there of um, good design and bad design for a form. There's another thing we can also do. If we load up this form, we can see here we've got various options for departments within an organization. Warehouse, finance, orders, sales, medical, payroll, that type of thing. Um, this is fine. Um, if you want to do it like this, have a separate selection button for each one. Um, but if you you're going to have more options, then it's going to get a little bit um, difficult to use. What's probably better is to store all these names in a table and to pull them up from a drop down box here. So we have exactly the same names as we have over here, but we've got them in a, a nice little drop down box which saves space and it looks neater as well. So we can just select each one that we want on our form. And we've actually put these in a table called departments. There we have our table values for our drop down. So that's just another example of how we can improve our form design.